Hello everyone, my name is Jenna and I'm a Regional Director with YMCA GTA Summer Day Camps. Today we are going to do a cooking activity. Really easy to do and it allows you to be creative and do something fun at home and it cooks quickly so you can enjoy it even faster. So what we're going to cook today is egg bites. A few things that you need. Really, really simple. I'm going to move our camera here. You're going to first need your ingredients. Today, we're just going to focus on um, simple ones that are healthy and easy to do. But again, as I was saying, be as creative as you want. Add some bacon bits, things like that. But today I have onion, red pepper, spinach, and cheddar cheese, because that's always so yummy to put on top. We also need eggs, which is the main ingredient. Today I'm going to mix up eight eggs for about eight bites. However, you can change that up depending on how many you would like to serve up. You also then need a little cook, um, muffin tin. Now, I have little um, silicone muffin. You do not need to use these. I just like them because I find them easier to store afterwards. But you can just cook it right in the pan as well. Just make sure it's nice and greased so they don't get sticky. And then you'll also need your mixing bowl and a little whisk or a fork to be able to stir everything up together. First step is though, you need to make sure your oven's preheating. So turn it on to 350, be careful because it does get hot, but make sure it's at 350 and let that preheat for a little while so once we put them in they can cook quickly. So again, as I said, really simple. Once you have all your ingredients ready to go, you're going to mix everything in one big bowl. So we'll crack some eggs here and see how we go. So putting in our last egg here, we'll make sure everything's in there. I like to make a mess in the kitchen, so don't worry about cleaning up while you go. You'll sort it out all afterwards. So once your eggs are in, you're going to add then all your ingredients. So we'll put some pepper in, we'll put all the onion in, don't know if you guys can see this, but hopefully you can. Spinach. I'm going to save the cheddar cheeses later just to kind of add on top instead of mixing it all in. So as you can see, put all the ingredients in. Now you want to make sure you whisk it all up so that all the eggs are mixed as well. A little secret treat, or a little secret tip I should say, not a treat, this is a treat, is if you want your eggs to be a little fluffier, what we can do is just add a little bit of milk. So I'm just going to grab some from my fridge here. Then your eggs come up just a little, a little fluffier at the end. So you can eyeball it, but just kind of guess a little, a little dollop in there. Mix, mix, mix. And then we're just going to go ahead and pour some in your muffin tin. So if you have a pourer like this, you can use it, but if not, you can also scoop it out. Sometimes it's a bit easier, I find with the ingredients as well. So if you have a big kind of ladle spoon here, usually used for soup, I find too with the spinach, it kind of, it's easier to pour it in like this. Again, don't worry about making a mess. And you're gonna fill it up three quarters of the way. I know that's a little hard to see on camera. You don't wanna fill it right to the top because then they'll overflow when they're baking. So just about three quarter, half, three quarters of the way. So I'll continue this for a second and we'll get right back to it. Okay, so all of our ones are in here now. As I mentioned, I haven't put the cheese in yet. You can see it leaving here. I'm gonna cook them a little bit first and then add the cheese on top just so it melts on the top. So once you have everything in your muffin tin, you're gonna place it in the oven. Again, being careful, make sure you have those oven mitts if you need to. And what we're gonna do is now cook it for 20 minutes at the 350 that we've been preheating our oven. Some ovens are a little bit different, so you might wanna check them after 20 minutes, but really how you can tell that they're really done is that they've all rised up, and if you stick a fork in the center and pull it out, the fork should be clear. So we're gonna put these in and wait 20 minutes before we get to eat some delicious egg bites. Don't forget to set your timer as well so that you'll know when to come back and check it. We'll be back. Okay, so I have pulled my egg bites out just around the 15 to 17 minute mark, just so that we can add the cheese on top and so it can melt all nicely in the next couple of minutes. So just pull it out, again, wear your oven mitts, being careful, 
and just add as much kind of cheese you want on each one. Oh, that one got a little more than the others, but that's okay. And I just kind of throw them on top because then the cheese will melt all kind of in the first kind of layer of the good gooey stuff. And then we'll throw it back in the oven for those last five minutes or however long you're, it might take you. Again, you're gonna stick the fork and make sure that everything's clear on the way out and you'll be ready to go. So we'll meet back in about five minutes. So once the 20 minutes is done and they looked ready to go, you're gonna pull them out of the oven Mine look nice and cheesy today. And you're gonna set them to cool for five, 10 minutes. You can pop them out of the tray and enjoy, or you can pack them away and save them for another day. So thanks for watching. And in Camp Friendship, we hope to see you this summer.